Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining, and we want to welcome you all in our webinar, The Future of Fleet Expo and Events. My name is Kia, and I will be your host for the next hour. Fleet fairs and events are being canceled or postponed since the COVID-19 pandemic hit all of us, which cut significant loss of sales for MSMEs. However, Fleet Fair is just part of the bigger picture, which is events and exhibitions. From a simple family gathering to a big milestone events of a company, everything has to be put, put on hold unless everyone is sure that it is safe to go out again and gather physically. But until now, we are in all encouraged to avoid mass gatherings and practice physical distancing. Sabi nga nila, we don't use the word social distancing anymore. It should be physical distancing because we might all be distant physically, but we are all socially connected. If and when the market returns, what will the trade fair and events industry look like? Yan ang isa sa mga tanong na nais natin bigyan ng kasagutan ngayong hapon. But before that, we, we are honored uh, to bring to you our undersecretary for the Trade Promotions Group, Yusek Abdulgani Makatoman, to formally open our program. Yusek? Uh, a very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, kumusta po kayo? I am glad to welcome all of you in PTTC Jimia webinar on the future of trade expo and events. While uh, the current situation won't allow us to have a physical mass gatherings, we shouldn't stop from being optimistic that one day we will all be able to see each other again in the different trade fairs and exposition. Be it uh, the old or the new normal, uh, I would like to commend PTTC Jimia for thinking way forward and coming up with this uh, topic which is beneficial to our MSMEs. As of uh, May 8, 2020, approximately 2,637 fairs and exhibitor exhibition around the world were either postponed or cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic and uh, 675 of which are in Asia. So here in the Philippines and in DTI alone, we have postponed and canceled a number of trade fairs already. So I can uh, clearly remember when the preventive measures of the government for this pandemic was just starting and we had to make a difficult decision of canceling the scheduled national food fair on uh, March 12 uh, to 15, 2020. Just a couple of days before its opening. Uh, the said uh, Food Fair had a projected sales of 83 million pesos, which is more than uh, 268 MSME from 16 regions were supposed to participate in the event to showcase and sell their products. At times like uh, that, a uh, tough decision had to be made, while at the time, a number of regional exhibitors were in Manila already, and we couldn't uh, disregard the safety of the people, both um, those who are attending as exhibitors and guests. So we still have the national uh, trade fair uh, schedule on October 2020. And last year, the NTF generated an 86 million pesos in sales for the 285 MSME that exhibited their goods in the annual trade show. And uh, the uh, NTF this year was projected before the pandemic broke to tally better. So, but uh, we believe that one day this pandemic will end and it will be a business as usual for all of us. In this uh, session, aside from knowing the current situation on different trade fairs, it will also give you the idea on our way forward for the future trade expositions. So I hope that our MSMEs, especially those who are regularly part of different trade fairs, we're able to register and listen to this afternoon session. Thank you, and may we all stay safe until things have settled down already. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Yusek, sa pagpapaunlak niyo po sa amin sa kabila ng napaka-busy niyong schedule. So si Yusek po may kasunod pa siyang meeting after. So thank you so much, Yusek Makatoman, for giving us your time. Salamat po. Ilang paalala lamang po bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating programa. 
We will be sending you the copy of your e-certificates to those uh, who will complete the session. At the end of the session, makikita nyo po sa ating screen ang QR code and link for our online client satisfaction feedback survey form or online CSF. All you have to do is make sure to accomplish and submit the online CSF para masend po namin sa inyo ang inyong e-certificate. A gentle reminder lang po that we will have a cut of time in accomplishing the online CSF, which is 5 p.m. of the following day, May 15. After that, link will expire already. And we are also simultaneously live on our Facebook page, uh, pttc.jumea. So, magandang hapon po sa mga nanonood sa ating Facebook page. Moving on with our program, let me introduce to you now our first speaker. Our first speaker is the Director of the Bureau of Domestic Trade Promotion of DTI. VDTP promotes efficient marketing and distribution of local products and services and seeks to expand and strengthen linkages among the country's MSME through information exchanges and business matching. The BDTP organizes three national fairs annually in coordination with the DTI regional and provincial offices. These are the National Food Fair, the National Trade Fair, and the National Arts and Crafts Fair. It also handles the Go Local Project of DTI, a market access platform in partnership with the select retail partners to help, to help MSMEs sell their products in the mainstream market. Viewers, presenting to you, Director Marivic Bonowan of BDTP. Director Mabo. Hi. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Good afternoon. Thank you, Gia, for the introduction. Ah, good afternoon po, Yusek Makatoman. And of course, good afternoon to the PTTC organizer, si Director Nestor Palabiab, si Dire Deputy Director Nelly Deliera and her untiring team. Of course, yung partner ko today, si Miss Tinet Capistrano, yung president po ng MICE Academy. And of course, our viewers, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. So, naantasan po ako ngayon na mag-present on the future of trade fairs and events. Uh, can you see the, my screen now? Hello? Yes, okay, okay na. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll start with the trade fair situationer, followed by the programs or projects of the DTI and our bureau in response to the COVID-19 situation, and then ending with a brief discussion on the future of trade fairs. Well, as discussed kanina ni Yusek Makatoman, uh, there has been a wave of postponements and cancellations of trade shows and other big events here and abroad. Diba, pati yung um, Olympics na cancel because of the COVID-19 outbreak. For the first half of the year, all cancellations of overseas and local trade shows has cost the Philippines nearly 3 billion in sales and is expected to shoot up should organizers decide to cancel or call off events for the second half in case the pandemic worsens. So for our bureau, na mention na rin ata ni Yusek kanina, nakakalungkot talaga, we had to cancel the National Food Fair. Uh, indefinitely, we had to postpone it to ensure the safety of participants and the general public. So originally slated from March 12 to 15, the food fair had a projected sales of 83 million and some 268 micro, small and medium enterprises from 16 regions were supposed to participate in the event. Well, if the ban on mass gatherings will continue for the rest of 2020, then we have no choice but to also cancel the National Trade Fair in October. Based on the latest guidelines, iba, kahit under GCQ na tayo, um, 10 lang ang allowed na mag-gather together. 
So, paano naman yan tayo magkaka-trade fair kung sample lang po, ano? So, the last year, yung national trade fair natin generated 86 million in sales from 285 exhibitors. The NTF this year was projected before the pandemic to perform even better than last year. So, in response, uh, in order to address the situation, we have to come up with a new project. First, we have the Bagsakan project. This was born out of the necessity to help exhibitors sell their perishables. Then, kasi in, in transit na po yung mga nagbebenta ng durian, pomelo, gimaras, mangos, before we can sell the national food fair. So we have to help them dispose of their inventory. So since March 16, we started with the Bagsakan project to sell gimaras mangos. In fact, nag uh, viral pa nga po, no? So yung mangos natin ay sold out in a matter of hours. So since March 16, we have had six iterations of the Bagsakan Fair, which uh, helped mga 13 MSMEs and also the fruit growers in Mindanao, in Dimaras, Bataan, Sambales, and various cooperatives. So for the six uh, Bagsakan, we already generated 2.14 million of total sales. Uh, for mangoes alone, we sold over 14 tons of mangoes, generating 1.76 million sales. So, uh, and going ngayon po yung bagsakan namin sa DTI office parking lot featuring yung mga mouth-watering uh, delicacies from Bataan. And of course, we will have another bagsakan on May 19, Tuesday featuring Gimaras Mangos. So, before naman the pandemic, we already started uh, with a virtual trade fair. This is a support to the National Trade Fair. Kasi yung alam mo naman yung trade fair natin, four days lang. So we had to come up with a virtual trade fair in support of the physical fair. Para 24-7, makikita mo yung produkto for 365 days. So today we have 57 exhibitors in the National Trade Fair featuring products like fashion accessories, gifts, decor, and housewares, food and beverage, at saka health and wellness products. So, ito yung, um, what's next is to make it transactional. Yung products that ito sa virtual trade fair, you can be viewed in different angles and in bigger size. So, the interested buyer can send an inquiry to the exhibitor by clicking the inquire now button and transactions can be done offline. So, pwede silang magkita, mag-meet up, or uh, mag-communicate uh, through email and uh, transact business offline. So, what's next is to make the virtual trade fair transactional by linking with e-commerce platforms like Shopee, Lazada, Shopinas, Easy Fulfill, among others. In addition to our Bagsakan project and making our virtual trade fair transactional, we will pilot this weekend the online national food fair in cooperation with Shopee, DTI e-commerce office of ASIC Jean Pacheco, and of course our eternal partner in DTI regional operations group. This is just a pilot, so we will have six exhibitors from the cancelled National Food Fair selling their products online on May 16 and 17. So watch out for this. Uh, so tara, bili na po tayo online sa National Food Fair at the Shopee e-commerce platform. To really address the situation, we at DTI have to accelerate the adoption of e-commerce by our micro, small and medium enterprises. We have over 1,000 in our database, but unfortunately, it seems that only 30 seems to be you know, ready to pivot to online selling. So we are currently uh, doing an online survey on the adoption of e-commerce 
by MSMEs. The survey aims to determine the extent of e-commerce adoption among MSMEs who regularly join the national affairs and or participate in the Go Local program and identify the factors hindering the adoption of e-commerce among MSMEs. During a quick interview, the prevalent answer is usually location because most of our MSMEs are located outside of Metro Manila. So this is now the status of our projects to accelerate the adoption of e-commerce by MSMEs. For the virtual trade fair, uh, 26 out of the 57 participants are ready to sign up with Lazada or Shopinas. The DTI regional offices also endorsed 178 MSMEs from regions 4, 4A, sorry, NCR 7 and 11. And these are manufacturers of food and beverage, fashion accessories and wearables, gifts and houseware and health and wellness products. So we now have a total of 203 ready to onboard. But before they onboard, really, they have to go through, you know, training and other onboarding requirements. And uh, we also invited all the MSMEs in our database to watch the Reboot Now webinars initiated by the DTI Commerce Office. So we are also waiting for the confirmation of Shopinas to create a national food fair microsite in its own platform. Regarding our Go Local program, the first batch of 32 suppliers have been endorsed to Lazada for onboarding. We have to launch the partnership in mid-June. So our partner Lazada committed to prioritize the onboarding of Go Local suppliers in the Lazada marketplace, conduct digital campaigns exclusive to Go Local suppliers, conduct training for Go Local suppliers on how to manage your account, and of course there's zero commission rate. So as I said, uh, target virtual launch natin is mid June. Now we come to the future of trade fairs. But we really invite our micro, small and medium enterprises to embrace e-commerce because it's the way to go. We have to move out of their comfort zone with the COVID pandemic. Change is not only inevitable, it is really um, absolutely necessary. So we are now studying the possibility of conducting mini trade fairs in a controlled environment. Maybe we will have a series of mini fairs for selected provinces. So this is subject to approval of our um, manage, top management. A consolidator will represent the MSMEs in order to maintain physical distancing. Regis registered big buyers will be invited by appointment New bulk buyers will have to reserve for scheduled viewing or shopping. And of course, retail will be done online with delivery and e-payment partners. We will also do Facebook Live. Uh, well, based on our research, it is also possible to conduct virtual trade shows, teleconferences, and virtual tours. I think this is being done by other countries. So this slide is self-explanatory. It's supposed to be more efficient to organize. There's no physical limit in organizing. There's greater flexibility for attendees. And it is relatively more affordable for our organizers and exhibitors. But uh, honestly, I don't know which is the best software to use to come up with an exciting virtual trade show. And of course, uh, there are attendant risks and issues. If you conduct a virtual trade show, there, are, there is the digital vulnerability, you know, hacking, fraud, physical barriers, you know, hindi kayo magkaintindihan, inability to inspect the actual product. Maybe there will be local longer turnaround. There are socio-technical limitations 
alam mo naman, uh, mataas ang internet penetration sa atin and pati mobile phone uh, ownership. But um, masyadong mababa po yung ating mahina. Mahina po ang internet. In some areas, wala nga internet connection. And of course, we need extensive capacity building for the MSMEs to be trained on using digital platforms, digital marketing, pricing, and costing. And I think that's what uh, the DTI e-commerce platform is now doing. They have been conducting a series of webinars in cooperation with various e-commerce platforms since May 4 po. And uh, I think the next um, schedule is uh, May 14 to 16. And of course, we need creativity and innovation. Kasi dapat maganda yung content mo, di ba? To make uh, the virtual show exciting. So, that wraps up my um, presentation. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much, Director Maho. We will still have Director Mavo quite in a while because we will have our question and answer panel, question and answer portion. Uh, I would like to remind our viewers lang po that if you have any questions on our topic, the future of trade expo and events or exhibitions, you can post it po sa ating, you can type sa ating question and answer box to those watching sa ating Microsoft Teams. And don't po sa mga nanonood sa ating Facebook page, you can also ask your questions by typing them on the comment section. Okay, again, just type in your question po sa Q&A box and for those uh, watching sa ating Facebook Live, uh, just type in your questions sa comment section. To join us in our panel question and answer portion is the director of the Education Committee of Paseos and President of the Philippine Mice Academy. Paseos or the Philippine Association of Convention, Exhibition Organizers and Suppliers Incorporated, established in 1981, is a non-profit association composed of professional event, exhibition, convention organizers and their partners in business. Those are the venue owners, booth contractors, freight forwarders and hotels, as well as the institutions offering allied services such as travel and tour agencies, airlines, printing, and other agencies. In 2010, Paseos, together with industry professionals, established the Philippine Mice Academy, a training institution designed to uphold the highest standards in the mice industry through relevant continuing education programs. The Academy provides industry practitioners better knowledge, updated techniques, and latest trends in various areas pertaining to the mice industry. So mice po is uh, meetings, incentives, conventions, uh, exhibitions, slash events to those who are still unaware of the term. So for, uh, we would like to welcome Ms. Tinette Capistrano. Ma'am, would you like to say a few words before we start with the Q&A, Ms. Tinette? Uh, Ma'am, you can unmute yourself po. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Gia, for the introduction. And good afternoon, Director Marie Vick. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Um, we are the, from Paseos, we are actually the exhibitions, B2B trade shows, conventions, exhibitions and business meetings sector no, of the industry of the tourism industry we are very happy that we are working very closely with the department of tourism um, to help fast track and mitigate the challenges that we are facing today as we speak we already submitted a position paper to the department of tourism for their review but they already replied that they also need more input from us no so as we speak also, we are currently creating protocols for them to review. Now, ever since the lockdown, or sorry, enhanced community quarantine since March 17, 2020, all events were canceled, postponed, or closed. 
But yeah, we continue to help in our own ways. We have supported um, many projects. Some of our members are now actually quarantine facilities, no? like the World Trade Center. Many of them have also donated services, supplies. And then both systems of our members are also being used as temporary quarters by the quarantine OFWs. Yet with the short-term relief mentioned, no? um, our industry is very devastated. And by and large, what we are promoting, we are hoping is that we will be um, not grouped with mass gatherings. As you know, exhibitions, B2B trade shows, conventions have highly controlled environments. So we are actually ideal catalysts for restarting the economic activity while ensuring compliance with safety regulations. So we feel that this must not be lumped with a general term, mass gatherings. I'll give you some trivia lang. For the two major MICE venues here in NCR, the members of Paseos booked approximately 4 million square meters of exhibition space. So this does not yet include the other revenues, shipping logistics, revenues lost by not staging these exhibitions. For organizers, there is an approximate loss of about 1.35 billion gross revenues due to postponements and cancellations. Of course, this does not include the potential business generated from our exhibitors combined, which can reach up to 8.1 billion, gravely affecting domestic and international trade. This also does not include event-dependent industries like contractors, freight forwarders, catering companies, production houses, freelancers, a lot of contractuals who are highly dependent on exhibitions struggling to survive. So what are we doing now? Like I said, the most important part is to ensuring the safety of every member and anybody and every, anybody and anybody will join an exhibition, an event. No? So we are currently making the protocols and when it is approved, maybe we can have another chat with the other members and we can share this with you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ms. Tenet. Um, uh, so, we will have our panel Q&A with Director Mavok and Ms. Tenet. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please put them on the Q&A uh, box on our Microsoft Teams and sa ating mga nanonood sa Facebook page, or Facebook Live, just uh, type in on the comment section. So as of now, as of 12 noon day, we have a total of 302 registrants, no? So we hope that you are all uh, learning from our session. So we will move on to our uh, Q&A portion. Again, maybe we welcome back the Victor Mavok and Ms. Tinette. Yeah, later pa, we will uh, read your questions. Uh, is Director Mavok here already? Okay, okay, I'm here. Um, yan. Hi, ma'am. So, Hello. Yes, ma'am. Given the current situations po, kanina sa presentation niya, nakita natin yung mga plans ng BDTP for the virtual, virtual trade fairs po, no? Uh, given the current situation, what are the plans of what are what else are the plans of BDTP for its future trade fair? I mean, come next year, uh, tutuloy pa po ba natin yung mga physical face-to-face -face trade fairs or going digital na talaga tayo or gagawin natin yung what they call hybrid? Yeah, well, uh, yung dream namin, syempre, balik tayo sa dati, di ba? I think that's also the dream of Miss Tinette. Nabalik tayo sa dati, pre-COVID. Kasi nothing replaces the excitement, the vibe, you know, the smell of a physical trade fair. Di ba? Naamoy mo yung lungganisa dyan, o yung chicharon. And parang nanonood ng championship basketball o championship boxing match, di ba? Parang it's so exciting to have that physical trade fair. Pero if this uh, continues, you know, if there's no vaccine, 
then uh, we have to pursue alternative um, methods of selling like the the bagsakan the the um, yung partnership namin with um, Lazada and uh, Shopee which will start uh, this weekend which I hope will also create uh, a different kind of excitement, di ba? Kasi like uh, Lazada 12-12, yung mga ganun ba? Siguro if we partner with them, they can also create the excitement for us. Long cashback, loyalty, uh, free gift, yung mga free delivery on a Wednesday. Uh, di ba maraming mga ganun na um, promo yes. sila? So, um, so we really have to watch out kung what will happen this weekend with Shopee yes. as our... Partner. Yes, ma'am. Actually, nakita nga po namin sa Facebook page ninyo yung uh, virtual trade fair ng National Food Fair. If the Ma'am, if the future plan po would be going virtual trade fair, how can we still make it, yun nga po, sabi nyo, how can we still make it experiential for the, for both the exhibitors and guests? Kasi nga po, di ba, parang iba yung, halimbawa, sa food, iba yung nalalanghap mo talaga, iba yung natitikman mo talaga, doon naman sa Arts and Crafts Fair, bago ka bumili, iba talaga yung uh, nasusukat mo, natatry mo sa katawan mo, ganun. How can we make uh, the virtual trade fairs experiential pa rin for the exhibitors and especially the guests who, wants to, who want to buy the products? Um, well, uh, ang content talaga ang importante. You know, we can use our YouTube channel to, to introduce the products and then uh, Facebook Live. And of course, as, as I said, if we partner with someone who can create uh, a steer, create uh, a bus for us, like Lazada or Shopee, then um, parang may excitement na rin, di ba? And of course, I think we're looking at the hybrid. Like you said, yung hybrid, like, like we're virtual, but at the same time, meron din uh, physical, like a showroom or a mini fair. Yes. Actually, ma'am, the hybrid term, I nakuha po po kayo kanina during our ano po, discussion on the preparation on, the, on this webinar. Uh -oh. uh, Ms. Tinet, uh, actually, I mentioned a while ago about the yung comparison between the rat and the mice. <laughs> ah, yes. Actually, I'd like to quote our COO from TPB, Antoinette Aliones, no? Because last week we had a webinar with her. Uh, this week lang, we had a webinar with her. And she said, you are for mice. And this is the year of the rat. Diba? So, rats and mice. And then, <laughs> it was so apt. But then she said, you are rats because you are resilient, you are agile, and you are tech savvy. So, R-A-T. Now, she said she was also, you know, we have a very good relationship with them. And um, we help DT, uh, DOT with their training programs, no? So on another note, with the, uh, with the group of Asset Pika, we are also creating new normal um, trainings of what will happen. So let me take you on a brief tour of basically what we discussed in our association. So basically we need to Number one, make sure that everybody is safe. So how do we do that? Number one, the venue, just like you, Gia, you have to tell us what is the maximum capacity allowable under the new normal. So if before you will allow us, let's say, to have three by, uh, 1,000 square meters will give us, say, what, 80 booths, thereabouts, 80 booths of three by three. So before, you, you didn't really mind how many, um, exhibit watchers are going to be there. But because of the physical distancing, we need to study this carefully so with your products. Maybe you'll only allow two at the most. And then how many visitors can you allow inside that three by three space? One lang, di ba? Kasi three by three, six feet. So that's already pushing it. And then the aisles. In the past, some um, bazaars or some trade fairs would have less than three meters uh, width for the aisles. The international standard is three meters. But then because we lack exhibition space, some would actually have like 1.5 to 2 meters to accommodate more, you know, more exhibitors. But this will no longer be allowed. So we should have at least, what, three meters 
uh, following the international standard. And then, like, we have to uh, also think, will this be a one-way traffic route? Or will this be two-way? Isn't it? And then, once one, for the visitors, and also the during ingress pa lang, no? Pagpasok mo sa hall, syempre mahirap yung physical distancing, lalo na sa contractor. Kailangan ba sila mag-PPE? Pero ang init, di ba? Kawawa naman sila. So, anong kailangan nilang suotin ngayon? And then the exhibitors, ilan pwede mag-ingress at a time na following physical distancing? Yes. Mga ganon. And then, okay, those are the, and then the logistics handler, sabay-sabay kasi yan eh. So, like, supposing you're putting up a truss, usually that's like six to ten people kasi mabigat yun. Paano sila? Diba? So, if naka-PPE rin ba yan? Gagawa ba tayo ng bagong uniform? So, those are additional costs. And then for the visitor, syempre, without, it goes without saying, as soon as you enter the venue, you have to have a mask. And then, when you enter the venue, there will be a foot bath. Somebody will be spraying alcohol or alcohol gel in your hands, di ba? And then somebody will take a thermal scanner. And on top of that, you will have those like for us with our director, di ba po? Natutuwa tayo pag maraming bisita sa trade fair. Yun ang buhay natin. Oo nga. Oo oh, nga ho eh. <laughs> so, ngayon, hindi na pwede yun. Kasi like, um, Kami po, for example, no, we were so proud to say na before battle cry po namin na we had 150,000 people go to our event. So ngayon, alam na namin, hindi na po yun mangyayari. Diba? So we can no longer have free-flowing free events. Kailangan ticketed na siya. Pero kailangan mo rin mag, ilan ang i-allocate mo na buffer na pwede dumating pa rin ang mga walk-in. So yung mga ganun. So, Mm -hmm. mga kaibigan naman sa SMX, World Trade, kailangan nyo bigay sa amin yung density capacity, no? Based on the number of booths. So, mga ganon. And then, what else? Like, kanina, you were saying how to engage. So, last week also, we had another talk with one of the hotels, no? So, Marriott. And he was suggesting, to, he was telling us their new product. Like, per director po. So he was saying like, oh, if you guys have a seminar, let's just say half will be in the hotel. Because we also know that once we have conferences, yung IBM table na two by six, isa na lang makakaupo doon, dati tatlo. Tapos every other table pa yun for physical distancing. So if your venue before could take 1,000 people, easily 400 to 450 na lang. Kasi meron ka pang setback. Tapos yung kalahati nun, virtual na. So, how will you now engage those people in their homes or offices? No. So, number one, they were saying, you can send them the same food as those in the venue. Para, you also give opportunities to the caterers. Kasi nawalan din sila ngayon. And then, what about um, mga promo? Like, supposing you're teaching them, kunyari, director, di ba? Like, how to bottle green mango. After the session, those who signed up and paid, they will receive a green mango from Lazada or something. Parang ganon. So that's what we were all saying. Um, how to make it still engaging, but it will really be very challenging because we are social people and our business is really face-to-face -face and very social. So we oh, really yes. need to think hard and out of the box. And like the director, we are also challenged with what is the best virtual show platform as it is there's no one really in the philippines providing um they're all yeah yeah that's right uh -oh. and they're very try, parang... expensive diba po? Mm -mm. so yeah so yeah mga it jana companies this is an opportunity for you to offer to all of us because in our industry most of us are also smes not mm -mm. and uh, maybe we can partner so that we can have a better virtual trade fair that's engaging um yeah, agree and then, so what are we supposed to look at, no? So first and foremost, we may already fix our back end. What about our visitors? First and foremost, we have to make them feel safe. So we have uh, um, a lot of, in our chat group, in my, our events, there have been questions like, how will we, or how will you determine that the air in the facility is safe? So at 
our venues naman, I know, are also working on that, which we will also submit no, to um, for us to be able to open sooner. And then, mm -hmm. I think now we will also need to have a quarantine area. We will need to have, it is a must to have a nurse, a doctor. Yes. Ang kasalubong sa yung yun, hindi na guard. Nurse na. Na may gano'n <laughs> sa registration. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kailangan yung first aid mo, enhanced na siya. Dati, mm -hmm. okay na yung simple painkillers, stomach ache, ganyan. Now it's different. No? So your set of medical protocol and your set of hygiene is elevated. So these are all costly. Kasi imagine, um, I'm sure the director will also agree, we will have a trade fair at half capacity to make sure everybody is safe. But yet, you're paying for 100%. Di ba, director? <laughs> <laughs> yung hindi na natin ho alam ho, kung mag-open ng malls or okay. ang importante rin yung guideline ho eh kung ano ba talaga ang definition sa mass gathering kasi ngayon talaga ang allowed lang under GCQ is 10 10 people lang eh <laughs> so, so pwede po doon ang that's business that's what we're trying to maintain Oo, so how can we do big business uh, so, kaya lahat talaga ano pre-ordered that's what we do pre-ordered na lahat and online na lahat. Mm. So, that's why, so, ma'am, We what uh, Paseos is doing is we are making the protocol. You're welcome to join us also in crafting this um, mm -hmm. so that we have to yeah, make sure. sure that the venue is clean. The contractors also agree, tiba To it. Kasi it will also entail cost. Kasi, and then, how will you clean the booth? How will you make sure that every day the sanitation is properly done? And then we also have additional uh, requirements like we need to have hand sanitizers, alcohol or alcohol gel around the halls. Yeah. And then we can no longer have like, the, di ba po, yung mga buffet set up dyan sa likod ng fair, hindi na po yan pwede, all take out. Uh -oh. and, uh, hindi na po yan eh. Oh. Baka bring your own food na. <laughs> yes. And or then pre-pack, na o nakapack na talaga. Uh, or pack meals na lang. No? So, uh -oh. And then the conference and the seminar rooms, like I said, half capacity na lang. So, we really need to have a good virtual show. Kasi like, yes. if it's free, it's so easy to change the channel. Diba? People will easily scroll. So, we have to think, like, I always say, think out of the box. Because that's really what we need to do. We need to actually unlearn what we know. You know, we've been in this business for a very long time. Um, we have to unlearn, relearn, and then retool our people. So, there will be new jobs, like, dati we did need naman, di ba yung Howie crowd, the counters, people counters, you don't need people who will do thermal scanning, now you do. And aside from that, you have to teach them proper protocols. So, we need to retrain them, ret retool them. For example, like, not everybody is tech savvy, so now we need to have classes. Like, for example, that the, what GPA is doing. Everybody will have to learn how to use Teams, Zoom properly. And then only then can you do your hybrid event. Can you reboot yourself as a, which is the battle cry of PTTC? There. Yeah. Kasi talagang video conferencing is the way to go na talaga. Every, everything is being done by Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Yes. Yeah. Actually po, ayan. Conference so, calls, right. Actually, yeah. maganda po yung binanggit na point ni, ano, ni Ms. Tinet. Uh, we have to all learn, we learn and retour, uh, retool our people for the for the new, new normal po. We actually have some questions from the audiences, which I will read. I think a lot a lot of our audience are interested in virtual paper po. No? You can answer po, Director Mavok or Ms. Tinet. Hmm. Uh, 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 question nila, how can we join the virtual trade fair? I think marami talaga sa ating mga MSMEs ang interested to join the virtual trade fair right now. Yeah, they just uh, write to us, email to us sa bdtp.dti.gov.ph We just uh, got a letter from NCR. And of course, uh, we will onboard them. That's what we are trying to do now, onboard our MSMEs to all uh, e-commerce platforms. Si Lazada, Shopee, 
uh, Shop Pinas uh, through the Go Local program, di ba? If they are already supplying, they're already a member of Go Local, pwede na rin natin silang i-unboard with Lazada and uh, and all these e-commerce platforms. Ang dami po eh. And they should continue joining the reboot webinars of DTI uh, e-commerce which are ongoing now, di ba? And of course, dito sa PTTC. This is the uh, lull time. This is the best time to learn na sinabi nga ni Ms. Tonette. Kasi, ano tayo, downtime tayo ngayon eh. Opo. So, so mag-aral, no? Mag-aral na mag-aral. Ito nga, talagang natuto ako mag-Zoom, <laughs> Microsoft Teams. Yes. Kasi, this is the new normal. <laughs> Yeah. I think for this is for Ms. Tinet also. Uh, I'd like to ask how many ask if how many months will be the preparation for virtual trade shows or expos? And how can we convince our current and prospect exhibitors or guests to join for the, the virtual trade shows and expos? Actually, if you have an existing show and um then it wouldn't be that difficult, no, because they all know that if they don't have to be part, if they are not part of it and they don't pivot to digital, they might lose. However, no, we also know, we also um, attended other seminars and in, from other countries and they already had virtual trade fairs. But they, you know, this is only complementary to their existing show. So now they are also challenged. No? So normally it would take for us a year to plan. So a virtual, if you have that in place already, you have your everything, then probably it will depend on your supplier. So I'd say six months because you have to also give your exhibitors ample time uh, to program their products, their services into digital content that is nice because you cannot just take a picture or just put a flat something depending on what like if you're selling technology if we have a tech fair for example we cannot just show a flat picture it has to be more dynamic engaging if not people will say tech but but and then we also need to um train the people who will run the e-commerce part some exhibitors would like their own e-commerce portals some will probably want to join the general e-commerce portal so one thing also I found out from my research of all the foreign um, software, they're limited in terms of audience. There was one we were talking to and he said he can only take 500. So we're saying like 500, can it be more? Then he said his portal now will crash. So we need to look for somebody bigger who can accommodate like in the thousands of people, at, you know, for at least 50,000 what we think will attend our show or even I'm sure more for Puffer that the DTI because it's a buying fair no? but by and large we are hoping that somebody local will come up with something so we, it's easier to plan eh. well dito rin sa bansa natin galing yung software six months I'd say yeah last uh, two years back I think we tried to buy a software it was from an Indian company and it's re it was really expensive. Yeah, I, I know uh -oh. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for those interested to join our virtual trade fair, kung if you are an SM MSME, you just uh, approach the nearest DTI provincial office or regional office and uh, have yourself endorsed. Because like, uh, that's just how we operate. Eh. Uh, the DTI provincial office or the regional office will endorse their MSME clients to us. And then, kung part na sila ng virtual, you know, we have to have pictures, photos, and um, we will link them with an e-commerce platform. Okay, actually, one of the questions, Director Mavo, kasi nabanggit niyo po kanina yung uh, DTI Bagsakan. So, may nagtanong, mm -hmm. ang limited daw po ba ang DTI Bagsakan sa DTI parking lot? And then, another question is, can the DDA regional or provincial offices adopt the Bagsakan program to their respective areas? Oh, sure, oh, oh. they can adopt it. In fact, must advance nga sila eh, kasi they have the rolling stores. Kami, um, because of limit, limited manpower, we limit ourselves to the um, 
GTI parking lot. Kasi we have to maintain ngayong physical distancing. So, parang six at a time ang tinutulungan namin na MSMEs. Okay. Thank you po, yeah. Sir Mavo. And I think this is can be answered by either and, and, and either of the two of you. This is from Charles. Uh, what are the possible controlled environment trade fairs we can participate with? Does it mean malls should be encouraged to have their own indoor exhibition halls rather than doing trade fairs in open activities areas or mall atriums? Um, Charles, it depends on what product you are selling. So, um, in Paseos, we have a multi-product industry, multi-industry organizers. No, So, there are several. So, depending on your product and industry, you can just choose who you want to join. Okay. Thank you, Papa. Yes. Yes, Director Mavo, go ahead, Pop. Yeah, but those who are interested to join the virtual trade fair, they can check the um, the link, the bytes, www.nationaltradefair.bti.gov.ph para makita nila, no, how it works. Pero uh, at this time, it's only an inquiry. We 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 just entertain inquiries. Uh, but hopefully, uh, by June. It will be linked to e-commerce platforms, and um, you can do business transactions. Thank you so much, Po. Uh, this is an interesting question. Uh, what about what about the mice subjects in school? Be uh, Miss Nete is the president of Philippine Mice Academy. What other alternative they will do to execute event? You know, I was talking to. Um, a friend of mine who owns a university. And a lot of schools now are transforming to digital. And as um, DepEd has also been conducting a lot of seminars no, on, on teacher training to conduct, to make it digital. So for us, Philippine Mice Academy is actually, uh, it's not in college. It's, af it's a post-college certification course is what we yes. offer. However, we also know that many colleges offer mice, you know, like um, are like our partner Enderan. So Enderan conducts their mice classes online. Um, I know also that a lot of schools will follow suit. There are a lot of um, learning management platforms, local and foreign, that offer blended learning. So that's what schools will do. And Many have said, what about um, connectivity? A friend of mine told me also that if they don't have connectivity, the school can send them by LBC or by courier, a learning packet, and then assessment will come after. It will, all, it will also be sent to them. So she was saying connectivity should not be an issue for online learning. Connectivity should not be an issue for online learning. Yes, yeah. because learning packets can be mailed or sent by courier by the school to the student who does not have connectivity. <clears throat> Thank you, Ms. Tinet. So we have another question here. I think nabanggit na kanina to ni Director Mabok. For interested MSMEs to join in the digital marketing platform and virtual trade fairs, how they can get in touch with BDTP? or to online marketing companies such as Shopee or Lazada? Yeah. Are, are they going to be endorsed by DTI? Yeah, if they, you know, if they meet certain requirements, yeah. Yes, and then uh, uh, you can email po BDTP, ma'am. Baka you can ano po, mention again your email address to those uh, who... BDTP at dti.gov.ph. Thank you po, Director Mavo. Oh, uh, they can also check our Facebook, yeah, BDTP Facebook. Ah, uh, mommy, is there already selling in Lazada? Actually, this is a question from uh, Archie Armada of Marinduque Land. We are already selling in Lazada. Will you uh, still include us in your promotion activities? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. If if um member din siya ng Go Local, then yes, sasama din namin siya. Yes, yeah, si Archie. Ma yeah, hi, Archie. <laughs> Ay, naku, kilala si, ano, ni Director Mavok, si Archie of Marin Dogeland. So, again, this is for Miss Tinet. Kasi, I miss Tinet kasi nabanggit niya kanina yung mga, ano, no, protocols na, plans for protocols. 
do we have mitigation plans or suggestions <clears throat> to the DOT for mice industry employees who may be potentially lose their jobs while waiting for the vaccine? Yes, but I am not yet at liberty to discuss this because it is still yeah. in the drawing board. Um, and uh, when this is final, and we will share, definitely share this with you. Yes, actually, po. yeah, because it's still in the process. Mahirap na nga, no, no. But rest assured that Paseos and Mice is doing the Yes, always. The best help the, ano, the industry. Mm -hmm. So we're actually are asking for direct subsidies, no, connected to the regular employees, maybe some loans, but the specifics na, when it's sure na, then we can share it with you. Yes, nothing is final until it is you not. Know, Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really difficult to <laughs> to plan now. So what we're doing is to fast track the adoption of e-commerce by our MSME clients. Yes. They have to pivot to online selling. This is uh interest. This is an interesting question. Do you have partnership with Department of Agriculture or BIFAR? Because for the past days, we're not yet experiencing the COVID. Po. Most of the fresh items. Yes, our. We have. Go ahead, ma'am. Mm -mm. Yeah, we have DTI caravans in Kadiwa. We partner with um, Kadiwa, but it's another functional group, yung consumer consumer group po namin. They are a partner with the DA and they have a series of discuento caravans all over the, the metropolitan uh, Metro Manila. Kadiwa, Kadiwa is uh, one of their partners and of course DA. Okay. Thank you po. So... For Ms. Sinet, uh, when mice bounce back, what will be the first priority? I, uh, I mean, paano, natin sila mas ma paano po natin may stimulate yung mga tao to go back to physical mice given na parang nasasanay na lahat sa digital world plus baka meron pa ditong uh, may daladala pa rin takot na is it safe to go out again and socialize? Uh, like I said, no. first and foremost, we as the organizers have to feel safe and only then can we make them feel safe. So this will be done when we have the proper protocols in place, which we are working on and which we will have approved. And um, because I know it's not enough that we have masks, we have scanners, you know, we still need to show them um, how we're going to do it. Maybe we're going to have like a video you know, a common video for us, like what Cebu Pacific has. So we, we just need to, again, think out of the box to make our visitors safe because it's useless for us to do trade fairs if our visitors will not come because they don't feel safe. But together with government, we feel that we can do this because everybody is working together as a team. Okay. Thank you, Paul, Ms. Tenet. Uh, I think this is for Director Mavo. From Rakima M. Sulaiman, NCMF Central, uh, I mm -hmm. would like to ask if you have considered halal products locally made and for local consumption to be included in your future trade fair. Locally made yes, and we, local, mm -hmm. for local consumption. Yes, we, we normally include halal products in our trade fairs. Sayang nga eh, kasi hindi natuloy itong trade fair, yung National Food Fair in March, kasi we had a um, halal restaurant sana, no? Yes. Featuring okay. even a halal chef, si Chef, um, God, I forgot his his name, you know, he's from Maguindanao. Dapat meron kami talagang halal restaurant doon. And we have a database of halal uh, products. We have halal MS, uh, MSMEs from Bicol, Sambuanga, even in uh, Region 3 who are producing halal products. Kaya nung ASEAN, um, ASEAN uh, what, what was this, this uh, regional um, sports event, diba? which was held in Clark and all over. Yes. We had a go local uh, pop-up store there featuring halal products. And we also had a halal uh, restaurant. This was uh, mounted by our export uh, marketing bureau. 
who is promoting halal worldwide. So we, we do have a database of halal products. Actually, because halal is really a big market now, eh? not just locally, but internationally. Yeah, uh, it's a trillion dollar yes. business. Because uh -oh. yes, okay. it's not just for our Muslim brothers and yes. sisters. It's really um, a lifestyle product already. Yes. Parang, I, it's healthy, it's remember, halal products, it's clean. I always remember what Yusik Makatoman uh, said in the opening of National Food Fair in 2018. Yata, halal is not Halal is not just about food, it's a lifestyle. Sabi nga niya. Yeah, yeah. And someone asked po, from Ki, Ki Monko, can we have insights on the viability of online trade fair? What are your recommended strategies in line with this? Siguro po baka some, kasi some, some check, uh, uh, check nila yung online uh, national food fair namin with Shopteam. March, yes. uh, May 16 to 17, uh, this Saturday and, Saturday and Sunday. Po. Uh oh, because yes, it's just a pilot uh, project. Uh, we have six participants from the cancelled food fair. So this will be a uh, ano matetest natin ang viability ng food fair. Ay now yeah, we're, yes. we're so excited, no? Yes, of course. So, <laughs> so oh. it's a partnership with Shopee, online national food fair with Shopee. Yes. So check that check that one po uh, online national food fair with Shopee and the, uh, in partnership between Shopee and BDTP. Uh, for Mr. Net po, mice is really one of the industry that is hard, hardly hit by the pandemic. I'm sure po meron tayo mga viewers ngayon na yung mga organizers ng events from the uh, small family events uh, to big events ng mga companies. Some of them are actually my social media friends and I can see them sharing memes kung paano sila na-affect no, ng pandemic na postponed and cancel events nga. What would be your advice to them po to survive this time or at least sustain their business during this time? Um, for now, if you can, try to study, 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 study. Like I said, it's not gonna be the same. We all know it. No, we, I've seen this industry evolve from... I, you know, when I was, I think this is the only job I know how to do. Like when we started, it was just a plain selling fair. You know, you go inside the field site before where I used to work. You buy whatever you want and leave. Now it's different. Like when you go to a show, you need to see, let's say, a cooking demo. And then you'll want to taste it. And then you'll see the chef. Then you'll want a picture with the chef to post it in social media. It's totally different, you know? So... For the those naman, you have to study because like you have to think out of the box. Learn from DTI's um trade fairs. I'm sorry, seminars, the reboot seminars, they're all very, very useful. There are also other seminars that you can attend um from abroad, like no many schools are offering free, free, free. So take advantage because you'll never get any free anymore after this. People are trying to survive. Our co-member the HS hotel group no what they did was they put up an online store for all the hotel people who have been badly hit and they have like they sell home products any product just to help them survive so you need to think how what can you do now that will prepare you for the future but cap it lang because this is just a test we will all pass it and bounce back because we have to prepare for it just like I said, unlearn, relearn, retool, reboot. Yes, that's a good point po, no? Study, study, study. Kasi nakikita natin sobrang dami, uh, madami talaga ngayong uh, free online uh, seminars or webinars right now. So let's take this opportunity na hindi tayo nakakalabas, pero matututo pa rin tayo. Kasi nga, uh, it will never be the same again. So w there will be a new normal. Yes, and also... Um, don't lose hope. Just pray to God. This is a temporary situation. We are all being tested. So, copy it lang. Yes, po. So, uh, because of that, uh, siguro our last question would be because we have to study, 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 uh, unlearn, relearn, retool, and retool for the new normal. 
for both of you, what do you think will be the new normal in trade fairs and events and ex exhibitions in the street? What will be the new well, normal? Um, yes, well, uh, life will not be back to normal as long as there's no vaccine. No, but we have to continue to boost trade and commerce. So we will continue with our mini trade fairs and Bagsaga. And that's what we do best, sell MSME products. So I think we will go, we will pivot to a hybrid uh, trade events, you know, partly physical and partly online. Yeah, hybrid is the new normal, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Like, uh, it will never be the same for as long as there's no vaccine. We really need to keep safe and make sure everyone is safe by adhering to hygiene protocols, highly sanitized venues. And um, like I said earlier, once we have everything in place, we will share with the other organizers what the protocol should be to help them also prepare for the new normal. Mm -hmm. But basically, mask, foot bath, thermal scanner. That's just basic alcohol. There are more. No, but we need to fine tune it yet. So, yeah. So we really have to be guided by existing guidelines now, no? To help us manage the, the risk. Because we have to be careful. Kasi nga, yung second wave is, um, is more dangerous, di ba? Yes. I think naubusan rin po tayo ng pera. To, to feed uh, our people. So it's um, really, we need to balance, you know, opening the economy and of course, um, putting in place all these um, protocols, safety protocols. Yes, thank you po. Uh, yeah, like they said, it will never be the same unless uh, there is vaccine already. So again, thank you, po, Director Mavok and Ms. Tunet. Uh, do you have any last words to our, uh, to our audience before we let you go to inspire them that this is just temporary? Yeah, we would like to go back to, <laughs> to our old lives, diba? And like sinabi rin ni Ms. Tunet kanina, let's continue praying to God and um, put our trust in God. Thank you. Thank you, Director Mavok and Ms. Tunet. So thank you for listening and tuning in to us. Um, we would like to tell you again to study, 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 prepare yourself because you have to retool and in order to reboot in the new normal. Thank you. And once we have the protocol, we will share them with you. Yes. Thank you, Paul, Ms. Tinet. And I am sure uh, everybody in the nice industry is looking forward to that protocol. Thank you, Paul, mm. for your time. Thank you also. Okay, bye. For thank us. you for having us. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. Po again. In behalf of the PTTC, thank you, Director Mavok and Ms. Tinet for giving us your time to share to the uh, to our MSMEs. So that completes our discussion for today. Again, in behalf of the PTTC Jumeya and the MSMEs watching us this afternoon. We would like to thank Director Mavok and Ms. Tinet for spending time with us. And thank you also to our participants who registered for this afternoon session at sa mga nanonood po sa ating FB Live. We hope that this session somehow shed light in the minds of our MSMEs and event organizers alike that there is future after this pandemic. And as, as mentioned po uh, in the beginning of the program, we will be providing you the recorded session and your e-certificates to those who attended or watched the session today. Just answer our online evaluation form. Uh, you can see po on your screen our, the, the QR code and the link for the online CSF. Uh, if you fail to catch the link, pwede po, rin yung, uh, pwede po kayo mag-email sa amin. Uh, just send email to webinar at pttc.gov.ph Again, that's webinar at pttc.gov.ph at ipaprovide po namin sa inyo ang link. And again, a gentle reminder po, we will, uh, please make sure that you accomplish the online CSF on or before tomorrow of 5 p.m. May 15, as that would be our cut of time. After that po, the link will expire na. Again, 
Thank you to everyone who joined us today through the MS Teams and our Facebook Live. And since you are watching now, make sure to hit our make sure to hit the like button, like button on our, on our Facebook page to know more about our future webinar offerings. Kasi uh, ito, ito po ay pangalawa pa lang sa mga ino offer namin. Uh, last week we had the food safety one on one, one oh one, and then now we have this uh, the future of trade expo and event. So our Facebook page again, facebook.com slash pttc.jimea. Ayan. So again, thank you so much again to everyone uh, who joined us this afternoon and always keep safe. 